What is up guys? Welcome back to Creative Readers Etc. I'm Lexi and in today's video I am going to be doing a book haul because I bought a lot of books. <laughs> Why? Because I needed to cope with the stress of moving home because moving is hard. And that also explains my absence. I have not been posting for the past couple of weeks because I've been in the process of moving home, getting situated with work, all of that fun stuff. So I really just haven't had the time to record. I definitely haven't had the energy, but I am back. I do have a bunch of videos planned that are gonna be super cool, super fun. Maybe have some guests coming in, who knows? So keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, we're gonna get back to today's video talking about how um, irresponsible I am in buying 15 books. But it's okay because books are pretty. <laughs> so without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into the video. Now the first book that I bought, I actually bought the entire series, but I had to order the rest on Amazon because they only had the first book at Half Price Books, which is where I bought all of the physical books that I have here from, minus one, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So I did buy the entire Heartstopper series, but I only have the first one here with me currently because I had to buy the other three on Amazon. So they're coming, they're on their way, but I did purchase them and they're gonna look pretty on my shelf. I watched that entire show and I am obsessed with it it's so good it's so cute it's just a fun little show it just makes your heart happy so if you want me to do a book talk about it or not necessarily a book talk i guess but like a review of it kind of like i did with the shadow and bone series i'll link that up here please do check that out and please do leave a comment if you would be interested in that on that note i also bought by the same author alice osman solitaire which was her first novel i believe and it follows the same characters kind of sort of it follows a different side character from that series who's the main character in solitaire but it's the same characters it's set in the same universe and i'm really excited to get it and read it but that one had to ship from god knows where so it won't be here for another month or so <laughs> but i did order it the other book that i ordered off of amazon continuing on i believe we're up to five books now this is going to be the sixth. I bought the second Check, Please graphic novel. Check, Please is really cute. It's, there's two graphic novels, but it's also a webcomic, kind of like Heartstopper. It just doesn't have a TV show on Netflix, but it's super cute. It's about hockey players, and I just I love them so much. I actually met the author at a book convention way back in like freshman year, I think, of high school. She was super sweet and his novels are super cute, so I do recommend them if you just need another fun, uplifting read if you've already read Heartstopper and are looking for something kind of similar, but different. These are a good one to have, and now I have both of them and they're going to look great on my shelf, so do recommend. Okay, so here we are, Half Price Books buys. I bought nine of them, I think, one of them being Heartstopper, so there's eight more to go. But the first ones that I bought were actually the first three books of the Lunar Chronicles series, I believe it's called, by Marissa Meyer. Cassandra, my best friend, she absolutely loves these, and these are all in really good condition, which if you don't have a half-price books or you don't know how it works, it's basically used books that are resold. But you can find a lot of really good ones there, like these. And these are all in like brand new condition. They are paperback. They had a couple of hardbacks that were also in excellent condition, but it was only like the second one and the last one, which I didn't want to do just because I'm really OCD about the order I buy my books in. But they did have the first three in paperback that are still in excellent condition and they're the original covers. So that's a good find. We love original covers here. And I think they're going to look gorgeous on my shelves. I bought Renegades. This is another one that I bought because Cassandra enjoyed it so much, but I also bought it because it looks really cool and it does sound interesting. I've had it on my radar for a while, but her recommending it kind of really just 
pushed it over the edge for me. So I added it to my cart and I purchased it and now I have it. And I don't have the rest of the series yet because I'm not sure how I'm going to like it because this isn't usually the genre that I read, but it looks pretty anyway. So hopefully I do like it and can buy the rest of the series because I love buying more books. <laughs> but either way, I've got this one and I am excited to read it. This next book might surprise a couple of you that have been on the channel for a while because you will know that I cannot stand The Cruel Prince. I hate it. I DNF'd it the first time and I forced myself to finish it to see if it was worth it for the ending and it wasn't. So I know there's a rest of that series. I'm not going to read it. I will not be reading it. So you might be surprised to find out that I bought another Holly Black book. And I did that, first of all, because look how pretty this cover is. Like, it is gorgeous. Second of all, it's a very small book, so it should be a pretty quick read, which is great because I love expanding the number of books that I've read over the year. <laughs> but I just, I can't with the cover. It's so gorgeous. But no, I did buy it because it sounds really interesting. It's about, it's not along the same fantasy genre that The Cruel Prince was, so that gives it... No bonus points because I love a good fantasy, but like it makes me feel like maybe it's a fresh start, something like that. So I'm going to try again to see if I don't like her writing or if it was just that storyline that I couldn't stand. Because this, it sounds really cool and I'm excited to read it. Along the same vein of gorgeous covers, I have this one, which I don't really know anything about it. I didn't even remember the name. The Atlas Six the cover. I want this on my wall. It's so pretty. Now, these were, I did buy them at half price books, but the last two and the next one that I'm going to show you were not half priced because they're new books or whatever, but that's okay. It's, it's fine, really. If I hate them, I'm just out a lot of money. But I am excited. This one sounded a little more fantasy than the last one, but it was kind of along the same like secret society vein. So I think this will be a really fun read, especially. It also kind of sounds like it might be a standalone, which I need more of because I don't have the time to get invested in a bunch of new series. But this one I think will be a really fun read and I've honestly kind of bumped it pretty high up in my TBR just because I think it sounds so cool. And also the cover. It's gorgeous. And the next one is the other one that I said that I bought at full price from Half Price Books because they do that sometimes for newer books. Like all the Sarah J Moss books, they're going to be full price when they first release. Things like that. But it's still a good place to buy books. Do recommend. If you have one, go check it out. But this one I bought these Violet Delights because I've heard so many people raving about it. And it looks beautiful. And it's different than things I normally read, which is good. I'm trying to branch out and kind of expand my horizons a little bit. Recently, I've been liking romance. Kind of, sort of. Not really, but kind of, sort of. And I just think maybe reading more genres that I don't normally read, because the only thing I normally read is fantasy, will be good for me. And I think, I mean, I know this is fiction, and I think it might have, like, fantastical elements, but it's about gangs. It's not about elves and wizards. So it definitely is a branch out for me, but I've heard it's very good. So I am excited to read it. I do love the cover. So we'll see. The final book is going back towards my fantasy love a little bit. It's a bit of a self-indulgent buy, but I remember it used to be really popular like back when I started doing Bookstagram. And I never read it, but I wanted to. So I picked it up and I also have it pretty high on my TBR now. The Storm Crow. I apparently have a habit of liking books with birds in them. Um, the Six of Crows series and The Raven Cycle being those books. So we're already looking good for this one because if it's got a bird in the title, it's got to be good. <laughs> That's just the law, I guess. So I am excited to read this one, and it looks really cool next to my Six of Crows Collector's Editions, just saying. Maybe it's the crow theme, but we'll see. So hopefully this one doesn't disappoint. 
And that is going to do it for my book haul. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, maybe gotten some ideas for your own TBR or your own bookshelf. Um, with all these books, you'd think I might be doing a new bookshelf tour because obviously these aren't the only books that I've bought over the past year that I've been away at college. I have bought many more, but I am not going to be doing a bookshelf tour because I'm going to be moving again in August and I will hopefully be getting some new bookshelves and doing like a little library corner in my room. You'll see when I get there, but I'm going to do a bookshelf tour then. But I am going to do a rearranging my bookshelf video because the way I've got it set up now, it's nice, but I want to make it cooler. And I also bought a smaller bookshelf to home all of the new books that I got because this bad boy is full. So I did buy a small little three shelf and I can do a video of setting that one up even though I don't have enough books to fill it yet. Hopefully I will by the end of the summer, but we'll see. <laughs> I will have that coming soon, actually, because I'm going to get on that next. And some other videos come towards your way. So keep the lookout for those. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.